Slab leaks and leak detection. That's something that I've been talking about for years. As you can see, I've got a guest. Welcome to Dustin DeWeese from Tejas Plumbing out in Greenville, Texas. Greenville, Texas. Man, do y'all have slab leaks in Greenville, Texas? Yeah, we got slab leaks. You do? I think there's I... slab leaks everywhere except for the folks in basements, right? Oh man, and they got them, well, they got leaks in the yard, not under the slab. So slab leaks and leak detection. You have been a service plumber here in Texas for years. Yes, sir. I started Texas Green Plumbing seven years ago. We specialized in slab leaks and leak detection because it's such a big problem here. And I hate to see homeowners buy a home, not do a sewer water test. This happened to me. I got a call from a friend, knew I was a plumber. I'd worked on his house. He said, my friends just bought a house. They had bought it, lived there for a little while. He said, they had a company come check. They had leaks under their slab. They had bought this house for $30,000 we're having to spend another 60 to fix the plumbing under the house. Seems like they got a $30,000 house then, right? Man, that's about right. But 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 how bad is it? And people hear me talk about it all the time. They're like, Roger, you're just scaring people. Leaks happen under houses. They do. Uh, big houses, small houses, old houses, new houses, it doesn't matter. There's no rhyme or reason. Um, a lot of the times we can kind of determine, hey, is this a water leak, fresh water? Mm -hmm or is this a drain leak? Uh, there's a lot of symptoms that we get called in for that maybe somebody doesn't notice, but yeah, it can happen to anybody. And I, I love it because I decided when I started my company, one of my good friends says, look, make sure you get a good company to do your leak location for you. And I thought, you know what? I wanna do that myself. Well, now this video is sponsored by Leak Pro. We think Leak Pro is the best leak detection equipment for domestic water. The reason being the pressure, the acoustics, for me, and I've tried a lot of brands, it's one I can walk into, it's my go-to every single time. Check out leak-pro.com. Now, I started working with my company when he said that, I decided I wanted to get good at slab leaks and leak detection. So I went to Florida for training. I went to California for training. I've used a lot of different equipment. When it comes to domestic water, I use Leak Pro, but sewer leaks are something, man, anybody buying a house should do a sewer test, not a hydrostatic test, but just a sewer test. It's designed to hold water. Fill it up, see if it holds or if it leaks. If it leaks, there's a problem. Tell me about the worst slab leak job you've ever found there was one that had been going on for um, the guy admitted to months i'm assuming years <laughs> and i'll i'll get to why but he, it had been leaking he was just turning the water on and off and his mother was going to pay for leak detection so we got in there sure enough there was a leak um, it wouldn't hold air it was like the end of the line was just open so once we got it jackhammered and identified the the leak, the hole in the pipe was as big as my wow. thumbnail. And since he had been opening and closing it every day for months, so he says, um, yeah, for months, um, we got in there, cut it out, made the repair sand that was the bedding underneath the foundation of the home had packed into the entire master bathroom. So I had to replace every angle stop in the bathroom, mm. shower valves, toilets, everything that was connected to it because it was literally just jam-packed with sand. And, and I mean, think about that, people. You've got a leak. You're like, well, I'm just going to turn it on when we need water. Well, when you turn it off, anything around there, any dirt, mud, sand, pebbles, anything, will go back into that. Mm -hmm. Now, one of the very first ones that I did, which I located, was for a trailer park community. And it was a leak about an eighth of an inch hole. So about a quarter of my little fingernail. They were losing 2 million gallons a month. No surface water. They had no idea where it was going. Well, once I walked this property and the property next door, there was a bedrock creek down here. It's really funny. After I fixed that leak, it pretty much dried up the creek, not the leak. But you don't always see it. You have to have equipment. You have to look for it. A line that big, just blowing air. Were you able to listen and find it? Were you able to induce air? Or how do you find one that big? So we were inducing air um, and we only had a short period of time, but I carried a really tall, big compressor. So I had quite a bit of air. So 
It was loud enough for us to hear with the back <laughs> okay. of the Okay, you weren't standing there with a bicycle pump trying to hear it. Okay, good, good. I fixed the leak one time. I was actually plumbing Medical City Hospital building E squared, and there's a rehab clinic next to it. And we got called because they're owned by the same company, got called and said, hey, we've got a problem over here. They had made a hole big enough to get down in. I looked down in it, the entire slab had two feet clearance under it where all this dirt had been packed. It had been leaking for a long time. So what we did, we rerouted the entire sewer line and man, it was a trip. Sewer line or water line, which do you think is worse for a slab leak? I think the sewer line, because you don't really have a bunch of symptoms until something stops up. So it's just a constant erosion of the soil underneath your house. Sometimes it is a heaving when that, you know, dirt has mm -hmm. nowhere to go. Mm -hmm. So you'll start to see cracks and, and that means it's been going for quite some time. It's not a, you know, they'll, they'll call it insurance sudden and accidental. Obviously it's sudden and accidental because you just realized that it was there, but usually those are going to be the ones that are on, on most occasions, the more expensive to get fixed. And, and I want to talk in a minute about tunneling or, or going through the slab, but a lot of times on a sewer leak, the homeowner may never know. We do sewer water tests for home buyers, something we recommend everybody buying a house does, but when you go and test that sewer and it's like, look, there's a leak, people are like, look, we've never had a problem. I understand that. You may never have had a problem. If there's a leak on a riser going up, say going up to catch a lavatory, it may only trickle out water when that lavatory is running, but whenever you try to fill it up with water, it won't hold, you do have a leak. And the reason we recommend doing this for home buyers is at that point, the seller's made aware of it. They have to disclose this in the future, but the good thing is real estate agents, look, any of that can be fixed. So we always tell buyers, look, don't be afraid of this house. Be happy because you're gonna get that plumbing fixed. You know it's gonna be good. You're not gonna have problems with that in the future. Do you do a lot of sewer water tests or anything like that? Yes, um, we work with a few foundation companies and some real estate agents um, that highly encourage, uh, one, for the warranty purposes on a foundation repair, uh, to have that test done. We come in, we fill up the sewer system with water, and then we would also put a gauge on an exterior faucet uh, just to ensure that everything's in good work and condition for, again, they have everything done with their foundation or they're purchasing. Um, usually a home's one of the biggest investments that someone's gonna make. So going into that and then you have lots of issues underneath there that needs to be disclosed so you know what you're getting yourself into. I love that. And you said you put a gauge on. I never once heard you say you apply external pressure to it. Okay, hydrostatic test, which Trek has in their contract, I've had to fight with some real estate agents. You go to a house, say, we wanna do a sewer water test. They're like, okay, sign this form, because it says if you do a hydrostatic test and there's a leak, you've gotta pay for it because you caused it. And I'm like, well, number one, I'm not, causing a leak. I'm just checking to see if there is one. And I ended up having to deal with a real estate agent's attorneys. Is there anything that you do in a sewer water test that could cause problems to a house? No. They don't understand that. That blows, they are so afraid of you testing their water. They say it's because you're going to damage it. All I'm doing is putting a test ball and I'm blocking it up, seeing if it'll hold water. Or like you said, I'm putting a gauge on turning off the meter to see if the pressure drops. That's it. Yeah, there's nothing. Nothing external. The only time I would be um, adding, let's say, air to a system would be if I am determining water leaks. Mm -hmm. um, and then it would be match the city pressure that's coming in. Yeah, you're never going to go above. Matter of fact, the lower the pressure, the better, because you can actually hear it making a low noise, not just forcing it out. Exactly. So what you're listening for whenever you're doing the water leaks themselves, you're introducing air. Uh, it's surrounded by water, so it's an audible sound of bubbles that you get to hear. And whatever type of uh, leak equipment is, your preference is? Leak Pro. Leak Pro. Mm -hmm. uh, so you're using your Leak Pro and you get in there and, and it's just an audible sound that gets you to a really close proximity, in most cases directly on top of you know, wherever this particular leak is on the system. What kind of equipment do you use? There, there's a lot of different equipment out there. Um, I currently, uh, I have a bunch of, uh, 
just geophones, mm -hmm. right? You bet. Um, but the one that I've been using most recently is the Gen Ear LE, mm -hmm. um, which is uh, an electronic device. Uh, I had used electronic devices before that were just kind of clunky and you could hear, you know, the lawn crew. You bet. And, uh, and there's 20 different that. adjustments on there to get your... Yeah. Yeah. So um, this one's pretty simple. It's got a small device on there. You turn it up, you turn it down. It's got a probe. It's got, you know, whatever you need to just kind of set flat on the ground. So it's it's been helpful for us. Very good. Um, I like it. I'm really interested in the Leak Pro. So maybe you can... You, 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 you'll, get to see, you'll get to see it. Absolutely. So here in Texas, we don't have basements. Our slabs are built on grade. If you find a leak in a house, do you automatically go, hey, I'm gonna make a hole right here? Do you automatically go, we're gonna dig a tunnel? No. You look at options. Um, I usually would do my very best to provide at least three options. Um, going through the floor is usually invasive. Mm -hmm. um, very much so. Let's just say they have hand scraped hardwoods um, that were recently put in and they're really not affected with water damage yet. I'm not super inclined to just jackhammer through $25,000 worth yes. of hand scraped hardwoods. So at that point in time, we would look for, you know, additional options. Finding where the line starts and finishes from uh, a manifold perspective, we could eliminate this section that's underground and reroute overhead. You bet. Uh, sometimes in a two-story home, that's either difficult or just very, very invasive. You bet. So tunneling underneath the foundation, um, I use a subcontract crew access hole on the outside and, and then they do a hand excavation five ten um, up you know up to wherever it needs to be and sometimes that's more cost effective than what's the deepest tunnel you've ever gone in uh, or ever had to dig the we, most footage we had 134 feet it was a whole house repipe and we added a half bathroom uh, in that process and then we also did a pipe pool on the outside i got to be a part of that one it wasn't one that i sold um, was a, a guy that went in and he needed an expert to come in and, and give him a hand. So that was probably the biggest one. Um, the biggest one that I've had to do myself is probably 80, 85 feet. Do you do a lot of pot pulling? Uh, pot pulling, I, I used to do quite a bit of it. Um, with us um, in the yard, it's not so bad. Um, circle driveways, there's a lot of variables that you would need and um, that's a very specific application and you have to meet a lot of criteria in order to get to where, yes, we can do a pipe pool. I had never done that until Oscar needed me to come out and he needed Black Betty to do a little pool farm. So when I got to do that, that was a lot of fun. Leak detection is a big business, especially here in Texas. The houses, the slabs are on grade, water expands or it gets dry. It, it does everything to make everything move. Leaks happen on the sewer line and the water line. It does happen. If you want to see how to pull pipe, check out this other video. But remember, this video is sponsored by Leak Pro, leak-pro.com. Go check it out, learn more about it, and go check out these videos. If you're looking for a job in Greenville, check out Tejas Plumbing. They can do the right thing for you.